High cost of gas have you down? Brace your wallet for some more bad news. Sky high gas prices are hitting other industries hard too, and that means extra costs are being passed on to you. Lindsay John with Debt Free America is here to explain and help us cope. It seems to be all bad news when it comes to the economy and our monthly budget. Right, right. And it's really hard. Many people are finding it very difficult to make ends meet mm -hmm. with just gas prices. And now we're kind of seeing this ripple effect where everything else is hiked and the prices are going up because of the gas prices. Right. You actually have the, the state of Utah, for example, who's now uh, implemented the mandatory four-day work week for 17,000 employees. And it's basically to save energy and money and resources. So you can kind of see exactly where the rise in gas prices is actually taking everybody. And there's some big changes that can be made to kind of help us through it. First of all, let's kind of go over some of the industries that are being affected. Mm -hmm. We've heard so much lately about the airline industry. Right. Big changes right. there. Airline industry, the, the, the price basically went up 7%. And experts say that by 2009, that's actually going to go up another 5%. Ooh. So you have fewer flights and you have airlines like American Airlines and U.S. Airways that are charging extra fees for checked baggage. So with all those changes, there's still going to be at least $2.3 billion in loss. So. And, and it's going to be a headache for travelers because there's going to be less flights. Mm -hmm. There are no extras. Everything that you want extra is going to cost something. Exactly. No, uh, no free snacks or meals on the plane. You're going to have to buy them yourself. And So traveling is going to be a much greater expense. Oh, Service definitely. industry, huge, huge impact. And we are definitely seeing those those fees you know, pass on to us. You can definitely see an increase in service-related businesses like pizza delivery, um, flower deliveries, uh, plumbing calls, things like that. Anything where you're, the service comes to your house especially. Mm -hmm. I've also noticed like, some of the, we were talking a little bit about this, some of the luxury things that people do, um, they're kind of cutting back, not as much coffee runs, uh, not so right. many pedicures at the spa, <laughs> yeah. you know, just things that we once were treating ourselves to and now everyone's starting to tighten their belts a little bit. Exactly. You know, what in this day and age with the economy the way it's going you're going to have to skip a little bit and be as disciplined as possible with your spending yes we're going to go over some of those yes. some of those in just a second <laughs> but the auto industry is also being impacted by the rising gas prices right suvs in particular uh definitely have um the dealerships have had their their downfalls um in april actually uh, SUV sales went down 32 percent. Yes. Um, well, I drive one of those and it cost me $130 to fill up my tank. I right. almost choked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I can, <laughs> I, I can, because I'm thinking about, you know, trading it in and going for a smaller car. Mm -hmm. There are ways we can cope. Yes. We've got some good ideas. Uh, one of the first things you should probably do is make sure that the extra you're paying in gas isn't going to put you into debt. You really have to budget. You definitely have to budget and one thing in particular is Take some time out to rework and reorganize your finances. A lot of people overlook gas as an expense. They don't even add it to their budget. Right. So definitely take some time out to do that. And I was saying, you know, we bought gas uh, one day this week and it was 10 cents higher. And then another day and it was 15 cents higher than that 10 cents. And then another day and it's 20 cents. Mm -hmm. And you're still trying to adjust to this price and already you're paying so much more. Mm -hmm. All of that works into the budget. At the end of the month, you're out of money. You know what? It's, it's, more, it's very important to discipline yourself and see exactly where you're spending your money. If you can cut back on the coffee, like you said, or you know, going out to lunch, um, you know, definitely do that. Determine what's the difference between your needs and your wants. And what you need. Cut back on on going, you know, driving a lot. Drive the speed limit. Find mm -hmm. other ways to cut in the budget so you don't end up in debt. Exactly. Because of all the extra. Exactly. Costs. And if you do um, live near work, if you can carpool, that's another idea. If you can walk to work, ride your bike. Um, if you can take public transportation, those are all different things that that you can definitely do. Can really help. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. We thank sure appreciate you. it. There is some hope. Hopefully, we just have to <laughs> rework it. All right, Lindsay John. All 